Hey guys, what's up? This is Devony, and I decided that this year I would make videos about finance and real estate and investing. And I wanted to come on today and make a video about saving your money for opportunities instead of retirement. A lot of people will save their money for retirement, pumping it in into 401k plans and pumping it, pumping their money into. For, I used to have a 403b when I when I worked um, at a at a college and. Um, and for the school board and things like that. But then when I left my job, I just cashed all that stuff out because I realized I needed my money in order to take advantage of opportunities. Um, what qualifies me to make this statement? Okay, right now I am um, invested in real estate. So um, I have 30 doors, which means 30 tenants, 30, 30 units to rent. Um, that includes a 16-unit property, a 10-unit property, some single-family homes, and a duplex. Um, and I just feel like you need to save your money, but not saving your money for some 30, 40-year, 50-year in the future. You're saving your money so that next year, when it's a property available and you know you have the money saved up, to put a down payment on it, you can buy that property and then it can start creating a, a, another stream of income for you. Um, or if a business opportunity comes up and someone needs $10,000 and they're willing to give away, not give away, but have you invest in their business and now you own 20% of their business that you can give them the $10,000 equity that they need and now you own 20% of the business and now you're generating another stream of income. So it's all just about um, thinking about things a little bit differently and not boxing yourself into feeling like you have to work for 30 years or you have to. When I got laid off in 2011, I was just like, damn that, you know, I'm, I'm just never going back to work for anybody else. I had a consulting firm on the side already doing educational consulting and why? Why? I was already uh, a landlord at that time. And I just knew like, you know, I'm, I'm done with that. I'm done with that. So you want to be able to have the most flexibility possible in your life. You never know what's going to happen to you. Um, in 2011, I didn't know at the time, but I had just had a baby and she has like a really rare condition, Rett syndrome that only like 30,000 girls have. And so if I was boxed in and didn't have the flexibility to 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 do other things and try other things, you know, it just, it's, it's, it just makes your life much more complicated than it has to be. So just try to change your money mindset a little bit for, for the new year and just focus on yourself, not saving your money and having it trapped so that some bank can invest your money for the next 30 years and then and have you scared to access your money because you might have to pay a penalty or a fee or something. No, 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 no. Just take your money and make it work for you. That's all I'm saying. Just think about it a little bit differently and think about how you can maximize the money that you have coming in to make more money because Streams of income is the name of the game. And I'm not going to say passive income because property, I really don't feel like property is passive income because you, you have to do work with property. So I'm just going to call that cash flow. So cash flow is the name of the game. And it's what, what, whatever way you can get it. You know, I consider passive income and I'll make a, another video about it in more detail. But to me, passive income is dividends, interest, things that you really don't have to do anything really to get you know because you always really have to do something but in terms of working or moving or doing something to get a dividend to get interest to get to you you don't you don't really have to do anything but with property you do have to be um active i mean you can't call it totally passive it's just it's, it's just not so we call that cash flow so that that, that that's just a, a better name for it in my opinion residual income cash flow whatever um but you just want to make sure that you have multiple streams of income coming in and that you have flexibility in your life to do the things that you enjoy, to do the things that make you happy and 
just allow you a certain level of freedom, you know, and understand that money is a tool that gives you that freedom. And once you understand that money is a tool that gives you freedom and you understand how to use that tool and how to work that tool in your benefit and not pass it off to somebody else and try to get them to work it or use it um, because they're just going to work it to use it in their benefit. But once you figure out how to do it for yourself, you will automatically see, whoa, this is a whole different life than what I could have ever imagined. Or this is a whole different, I don't know, situation. So as the year progresses, I'm going to make more videos. And I don't know, I'm just committing to, to making more videos and do it. Because I always have a friend who tells me, people need to hear. You're always talking about money and finance and wealth. And people need to hear what you have to say. And you need to... Be out there because you have a different message, and uh, so I'm gonna I'm gonna work at it this year. All right, you all have a good day. Talk to you later. Bye.